Hi Flosstube, it has been a long, long, long time, but I decided to do something wild and crazy and I had a little bit of extra time. I was editing a video for my work and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to film. <laughs> so here I am. Um, so I disappeared for a couple of years, partly because life got crazy and I lost my stitchy bug for several months and had nothing to show. And then it was just hard, like getting back to the place where I could stitch a lot and film videos and everything like that. But for the past, you know, year and a half, I have been stitching a lot. I've made a lot of progress on um, different projects that I've been working on, and I've really wanted to make videos to to show these to people. Um, so anyway, let's just get started. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so my first is a finish and this is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Um, this is stitched on a 40 count linen. I don't remember the dyer or the name of the fabric, unfortunately. Um, it is using the Vicki Clayton silk conversion and I made a couple of changes as well. So within the fruits. I, I changed the color just a little bit of some of them just to suit my taste. And also for the house, instead of using three different blues, I picked the blue that I liked best. And then I just used that. Um, I really liked the tealish blue. Um, I also swapped the initial with the year and did 2023 and just J. And then I changed the saying because I love Latin and Latin is something that I teach. So I, instead of Feast of Friendship, I changed it to Festum Amicitiae, which is one translation of a Feast of Friendship into Latin. Um, I got it framed at Michael's with this really nice two-toned wooden frame with like a detail on it. And I think I have like two other finishes with this exact frame. And one of these days I will probably do a an updated finish parade because I have many more things that are framed and on the wall as well. So anyway, this is my this is my uh, recent finish uh, feast of friendship. So as far as what I've been working on, um, I have spent a lot of time on my um, Egypt Garden Mandala by Chatelaine. And I have loved doing the Chatelaine Zooms the first Wednesday of the month with Amy from Fiber Arts Amy and Maggie from Kitchy Whips, who have both encouraged me to come back onto Floss Tube. And I love them dearly. I love watching them. And so here I am. Um, so let me show you where I am with this project because. I, so this is stitched on a 28 count linen in Mesa from Picture This Plus. And it is, it was kitted by European cross stitch and the few DMCs that were called for in the pattern, I switched to Soie d'Alger silks in similar colors. So here is where we're at. Um, I am a section completer, so I stitch a section and I will do the cross stitches in the silk floss first, and then I go through with a petite treasure braid, and then I do the back stitch, and then I do the beading last. So I do the order that Martina recommends, but I complete the section first. Um, and there are supposed to be some like blue stitches kind of behind the palm trees. And at this point I have decided to leave them out um, because I think it looks better without it. So but anyway, this is where I am so far. And so I'm working on putting these here. And then at some point I'll have to switch to a larger setup so I can fit it because it will not fit in this key step much longer. Anyway. Oh, I love this. I've never 
This is my first Chatelaine project and I can't wait to have it framed and on the wall so I can look at it like every single day. Okay, next, um, another project that I started years ago and I've shown on this, I am significantly far in this and I want it to be a finish in 2024. So this is Meeting on the Turret Stairs. It is a full coverage, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, based on a painting by Frederick William Burton. And um, I'm stitching this on a 28 count cream Lugana two over one half cross using call for DMCs. I'm sorry it's not ironed, but here it is. I'm 76% of the way complete with this project. I love it. And I'm using Pattern Keeper on a Samsung tablet that I bought specifically for Pattern Keeper. It was worth every penny. And so I am hoping to finish this this year and again, get it up on the wall. I don't have any other full coverages going right now. I've kind of stopped. I've got one Chatelaine that I'm working on. I've got one full coverage that I'm working on. And that's that. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What else? Ah. So one of my favorite newer designers from Etsy is called Needlelot Designs. And she has some fabulous designs. They're so good. So the one I'm going to show you is very, very close to complete. I'll probably complete it within the next couple of days. And it is called Art Nouveau Fox. And I am stitching this a two over one, no, two over two, uh, called for a DMC on a 32 count white Lugana. And I just, I think her colors are beautiful. I have probably four or five other patterns of hers um, that I want to start. And so I just have a very tiny little bit to do up at the top and my initials to add, and then it will be ready for finishing. And I don't know how I'm going to finish this. I might get it framed. I might try to frame it myself. I'm not sure. But anyway, here's Art Nouveau Fox. Okay, another um, whip is by Autumn Lane Stitchery. So I love Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, I am going to the Queen City Stitch Retreat in October, which I'm thrilled about. It's so exciting. So this is called Love on a Limb. And I am stitching this two over two with call for DMC on a natural linen, but it's opalescent. And this is part in the window behind. This is where I'm at so far. So I've got the owls complete and you know a lot of the tree i just there's a lot of fall leaves in this and i haven't even started them but i love the colors in this and i love the eyes especially so aaron always does such a good job with the eyes but anyway so i might be taking this one with me on a little vacation here but i'm not sure I could probably get the leaves done if I take it. And let's see, what else have I brought down? Oh, I'm keeping that one in a bag by Little Boat 88 that I love. So there's that. Um, okay, next one. I really haven't worked on since the Christmas season, but this is kind of like a half finish. So these are 
Clementine and Coulter Frosted Pumpkin Citry. Okay, so I finished, so I'm stitching these on a 32 count opal linen in a blue, and I think it might be from Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers from like three years ago. So I don't know the color, um, but it is called for a DMC, and this is Clementine. Okay. She's so pretty. I feel like I'm in my fox era because I've... <laughs> I am loving fox patterns. I don't know why. They're just adorable. So this is Clementine. And Coulter is not very far along. So I think I just picked him up for a couple minutes before bed one night and just got this done. But I think for next Christmas, it would be great to finish them as ornaments. Well, anyway, that is that. Now, plans. Um, I have very exciting plans because I am going to be stitching um, one of the newer Mirabilias along with Fiber Arts Amy using Vicki Clayton Six. So here is the Muse, and this is MD191. It is a recent release. Um, and I just think she's beautiful. I love Art Nouveau and Pre-Raphaelite art. Um, and so I have all, so I have the boot pack. And I have the water lilies and the Kleenex. And there's a lot of water lilies with this. They're beautiful. And it even calls for multiples of some of these water lilies. So we've got, like, I love this color, this mulberry. And it has black forest. Again, two. Nope. It's different. Black forest. And Calicum, which looks very much like Black Forest. Antique Rose. Pebbles. And Succotash. So lots of beautiful water lilies. And then just two Cranix in this one. And here they are. Then, all the DMC is being replaced with um, Vicki Clayton silks. And so they come like this. And I haven't opened the package yet because they look so nice and neat in here. And I don't, uh, I'm not ready to quite start it yet. Um, but, oh, this is going to be such a fun project. I cannot wait. The fabric I'm going to be using is called Whisper from Oak Crown Studios. And so that's Fiber Arts Amy's company. And I love the fabric so much. It's amazing. I'll show you some of it here in a minute because I'm in the Fabric of the Month Club. So it's my happy mail every month. But, um, <clears throat> so that is something that I'm going to be starting in the near future. Okay, what else? Okay, well, speaking of Fiber Arts Amy, I want to show you, so this is the February 2024 Fabric of the Month. It's called Crystal Ball. This is a 32 count linen. It's a fat quarter. And now purples show up gray. And I'm sorry for my lighting difficulties right now, but it is this very pretty, like dusty lilac with some nice kind of marbleish modeling in it. So I think it will look beautiful with um, 
on a mirror or anything. And what I love about Amy's fabric is that she knows her pattern. She's a stitcher. And so she always gives some examples, some things that you can do with this fabric um, and tells you what are some mirabilia patterns or other patterns that would look great on this fabric. So anyway, and she also shares her inspiration. So this is Crystal Ball. So I get Oak Crown Studios Fabric of the Month. And then I also get, um, let's see. Oh, I also get Be Stitch Me 40 Count Neutral um, because I don't have a lot of 40 count neutrals in my stash. And so this is called Dusty Cottage. It is a fat quarter. 40 count linen and well again it's showing up grayer on the camera than it is but it the modeling is beautiful it's very much like a warm kind of forest fall forest sort of feel to it and anyway so I have loved her fabric quite a bit I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet um, but I love autumnal stitching, and I'm sure that I will, um, I'm sure I will find something. Okay, now more plans are, uh, involve cottage garden samplings, because I am loving their new, let's see, I don't think I have the first one here with me. Oh, I do. I'm loving their Fabulous House series. And I have a conundrum, so I need to ask you guys. Now, it's kind of suggested to stitch these all on one big piece. And um, so I have a piece of a 40 count lunar by Be Stitch Me. And I got a, I believe this is a fat half. Yes, half yard. But I'm not sure if I want to stitch it all in one piece, because I don't know if I have the wall space for something that big. And I think it might work better for me if I stitch them individually and then I can put them up and I can change them out and everything. So I, and I'm getting these auto shipped from Top Knot Stitcher. Um, so I have uh, the first one, which is Santa's house here. And then I have the castle. And with Top Knot Stitcher, you can um, have the fancy flosses that go with it sent with a pattern. So that's what I have. It's castle. And then the greenhouse has no fancy floss with it. It's DMC. And the one I'm really, really excited for is the Hobbit House. That, I think... I hope is going to be amazing. I'm sure it will be. And that I think I will start and finish probably right away. I believe it's number five in the series. So it's not the next one coming out. It's the one after that. But that's the one I'm really looking forward to seeing. Anyway, so, you know, if you're stitching it, what are you doing? Are you breaking it all up? Are you stitching it as one big piece? I'd really like to know. Okay, a couple of other things. I do get Color and Cotton Thread of the Month Club, and this is December. So, really pretty. I need to start using these because I get them and I tell myself, well, you never really can get any more, so I better not use it. But then I say, but I should use it. So that's one of my goals for 2024 is to start kind of using more stash things. And then one more thing I'll show you that might feature into my plans is um, an older pattern from the Primitive Hair called the Raccoon or Procyon Lotor in Latin. And I love it. One, it has Latin on it. So like, you know, it's great. And two, I love raccoons. Why do I love raccoons, you might ask? Well, we have a 
family of raccoons whom we have helped. And um, we had a mama raccoon maybe three or four years ago now come to us to our back deck. We live in a very forested area. Our neighbors are not close by, so it's not a neighborhood. And she came to us asking for help. And when we saw that she was a nursing mother, we immediately went into action and we got her water and we got her food and she drank and ate and gave herself a bath and laid on our deck and slept. And she started doing that night after night after night. She would come and eat and drink and take a little nap and then leave. And eventually she brought her babies with us, five of them. And since that time, she and some of her babies have come to us every year, almost year round, and they're very well mannered, very behaved. Um, and at some point when the babies are a little bit older, the moms will actually leave them on our deck and go and hunt or forage for food. Um, and so we love raccoons in this house and yeah, it's great. So anyway, that is another thing that I'm thinking of starting in the future. Um, last bit is market is coming up and I don't know about you guys, but I am loving all the market releases, having a very hard time controlling myself, but I'm trying to limit myself to five or six patterns. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think, um, perhaps in a future video, I will show some of the patterns that I am ordering and that will be really nice. Um, okay. So I think this is it. This is really quick and impromptu and I didn't plan it, but I kind of felt like if I didn't do it now, then I don't know if, when I would do it. So I hope everybody is well. I hope to start posting, you know, more frequently and maybe once a month or something like that and sharing my stitching with you guys because I've been watching people and, um, but I just want to be a little bit more a part of things and talk to you guys. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I think look forward to an updated finish parade for me and hopefully a lot more finishes and big progress on things. So I look forward to talking with you guys and I hopefully will see you soon. Goodbye.